All right, here we are, Healthy Way in Brooklyn. So could you please give us an introduction, provide your name, and a little bit about your, your background? All right, how you doing, guys? My name is H. Kaya Watson. A lot of people know me here as Larry. So basically, my background is I started as a pharmacy student. I finished as a chemist, then I was awarded a uh, National Science uh, Foundation scholarship to do my master's because of the shortage in chemistry teacher in the urban community. And that's how I got my master's, which is a, a master's in urban science education. I started with a, a STEM learning center. That didn't go well. But then in my seeking of God, I found this store here called Healthy Way Organics and Juice Bar, which is basically a place, a holistic wellness center, where we do juices, smoothies, vitamins, uh, herbal formulas to help people reverse their body and also maintain great health. So this is what we do here and it's been taking us a lot of uh, year, three years. We started in 2020. So with, from 2020 to 2023, we've seen a lot of growth. A lot of people have reversed their body on their way to reversing many illnesses and that's one of the main things that we do here is helping people reverse their body and reverse illnesses. Okay. Hey, thank you for that introduction. And I see, uh, okay, so I see you have your juicy here. Could you just describe your business? So ba basically, the business is all about holistic wellness, right? So on this side, we have some of the natural form uh, herbal supplement, uh, herbal extracts and herbs basically that we, we have to help people um, with different complications. So what I found is that there's different uh, there's different herb for different cells. So our herb, our, our cell has nutri need nutrients, and we get those nutrients from cell food. Cell food are basically herb; they feed the cells. But a lot of time we're taught to be to eat to be full instead of eat to feed our cells. Mm -hmm. So here we have the herb, the herbs itself that we use. Then here we have the, the juicer, and then we also have the vitamins blender. So here we have the fridge where we keep all the fruits. They're always fresh. And um, basically, we have the cabinets, the freezers there. And on the shelves, we have some of the supplements that we, you know, herbal supplements, or USD organic supplements and tonics that we uh, recommend to people with different complications or just to maintain their health. So let's talk a little bit about the site selection here. How did you find this space? Okay, so this space, we started in 2020, so it was mm -hmm. the heart of the pandemic. So basically, I believe it was the spirit of God that actually led me to this place because I always knew I wanted a juice bar and something healthy because I knew our community had, that we have need of something uh, to provide us health, but not a health where we just you know, eating healthy or eating what we know from our culture, but more like healthy where we can live without illness. So in, in seeking that, this spot was the, 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 very, um, the, very, the very first spot that I seen that I wanted. And when I seen it, it was like, you know, this is it, you know, and as you can see, it has, it has maybe like three different intersections. We have Kings Highway, we have Rockaway Parkway, yeah. and we have a major intersection, East 98. So it was the perfect location, it was very visible, we have a lot of foot traffic, and that's what you look for when you wanna open a business. Any business you open, you wanna look for foot traffic, and you wanna look for visibility. And one Got it, and uh, once you saw the site, you, uh, you saw the for rent sign, and then you called the broker, and then from there expressed your interest? Yes, yeah, so that's one of the things that we did. Once we, once we called the broker, he basically told us to come. We went to the office, you know, and I actually asked him a few questions as, you know, how can we get started? He gave us some, you know, um, instructions on how to get started. But the main thing is that you normally would need four months rent. So four months that rent. four months rent is uh, basically two month, two or three months security and one month rent. So you would need about, let's just say your site is about 2,000 or, you know, 2,500, you need about you know, if it's 2000 you need 8000 If it's 2500 you need 10000 Just for just for that. And then you also need construction time. So not only do you need time to um, construct, you also have to actually have time to get all your licenses together because you also need a food protection license to get started. So that you actually have to, you, you have to be licensed by the New York City to get a location 
for like juice bar, anything with food. Oh wow, so you need a food protection license. And how long yeah. did that take? So that could take, it depends on the person. You could take, it could take you up to two months, three months. months. It depends on how many, uh, how fast you could study and then how, you know, how dedicated you are. But how did you now, market, how did you market the business when it was brand new compared to how you do it now? Well, when it was brand new, we just did word of mouth. We did word of mouth. We basically gave our flyers. We didn't really do, we didn't really do too much marketing because it was the pandemic. So we were just like, people were just coming in. Hey, mm -hmm. do you have something for COVID? And yeah, we started making formulas for COVID. Uh, hey, I'm not, you know, I need to lose weight. Then we make formulas for losing weight. This is this formula right here. The herbal juice cleanse tonic. Oh, I, I'm feeling sick. This, this right here helped them remove toxins, mucus, parasites, acidity, and waste. Thereby reversing their body and they're also, you know, maintaining their, 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 their health. And also one thing that's good about this product we created is it actually feed the cells. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, like I said before, we do not eat to feed ourselves. We normally eat to be full. Yeah. So with this, it has 40 different cell food in it that feed the cells. And you know, we have it on Instagram, which is another way we market now. We just post testimonial on Instagram. So we really just, everyone who take it, they come back, they give us testimonials, we post it right away. So Instagram has become one of the great ways we market right now. So, so like on day one, when you started here, what equipment did you need to get everything started? Like what equipment did you start off well, with? Well, before we got started, we needed the floor done. So we did the floor, we did the cabinets, and then um, we, we started getting the equipment. So before you do get the equipment, you need to do the construction first. Mm -hmm. So after the construction is done, you're gonna need the fridge, which is a display fridge. I, I love this fridge because it, it shows the customers exactly what we're about once they come in. Mm -hmm. And then you would need like, you know, this would be another fridge you would need just to hold some of the things that you use to make the juices. And you would need a freezer, which is, you know, I, you know, I recommend buying all these brand new because you wanna know that what you're using is brand new and not, you know, second hand. Exactly. I know we want to save money. We have another fridge back there for just, you know, people that come in and they just want to pass uh, juice to grab and go. And how much, how many employees do you have? So uh, we started, it was just two of us when we got started. It was me and my other half. And then when we, when she, when we were here, we grew. We had about two other people that were working. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, from there we just been growing to people that want to do sales now. So we actually are growing into sales. Okay. So we, we, we are growing into people buying in into the business by starting as a sales rep and they go out and promote the products that we have and thereby they build a brand from promoting the products and then bringing other uh, individuals who are interested in you know holistic wellness. So we buy into the business by you taking a formula once you see what the formula can do for you, you can now promote that to other people, family members, because this is a pandemic for our community, mm -hmm. health. Our families are suffering from diabetes, blood pressure issues, cancer, you know, kidney problems. I mean, you name it, you know, arthritis. And these are all illnesses that can be reversed naturally, mm -hmm. you know, with the proper alkaline diet and the formulations. It's not just, it's not just juices and smoothies, you know, you need cell food. You need to heal the body. You need to let the body revert itself. So these are the the foundation of you know how we're growing now. Just getting people to be to buy into the into the. Company. What do you think is the secret to excellent client service? Well, the secret to excellent client service would be basically to speak the truth. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people want to make a sale without speaking the truth. They just want to make the sale because they just want to close the deal. But I believe the truth is one reason why we don't even really market too much anymore. We just post testimonials and still do word of mouth. But we're beginning to now to do marketing. But if you if you speak the truth, then the people will come to you naturally. Because, you know, I tell everyone, it's not just about trying to sell. It's about mm -hmm. speaking the truth and finding a common ground with your client. And what is it that they're coming into for it? How are you gonna be able to solve that problem, being authentic with it? Mm -hmm. I have other formulas that I, we create that you know I can show you guys later. Or you can go to our website and you get that as well. Mm -hmm. Now you mentioned sourcing from St. Lucia, Jamaica. Now, how do you, could you tell us a little bit about your sourcing strategy for, for everything else you have in here? Okay, so we basically source our fruits from Circuit Fruit Wholesale. So that's a, 
that's a wholesale that just supplies fruits and veggies from you know Florida and different you know um, places but it's located in Canarsie as well which is where I'm, you know I was raised at but th these are some of the places that we source it from then um, we source our vitamins from UNFI which is also a distributor that distributes um, to you know Whole Food, Trader Joe's and then um, basically that that um, herb from Star Wars Botanical, which also has USDA organic uh, background in it, so we always go with companies that give us the USDA organic uh, products as well. Mm -hmm. So that's that's some of the places that we source from. And then of course, the water that we use or alkaline water is also made uh, naturally from our you know partner Vigor Alkaline. So that's one of the also. Um, Places that we source our, but that's basically it. We don't we don't serve any meat or anything like that. So we only source. Gotcha. And then I'm thinking um, a lot of the materials perishable, and the shelf life isn't uh, you know it isn't really that great. So could you talk a little bit about what you're thinking when you when you're sourcing your product? You you're probably thinking about all right, how long can you hold on to this, and you know at what point can you sell? Yeah. So basically sourcing is good. Uh, when it comes to sourcing, you have to make sure that you source from highly organic um, farmers because you know you want to stay away from pesticides and all these other you know um, you know preservatives that they use to preserve some of these fruits and veggies. But for some of it we, we get it frozen. So when it's frozen, we just put it directly in the fridge freezer some of it we cut and then put it in the freezer so that way it maintains its you know freshness and then um, we also display some here in the display fridge where we use it daily so if it's fast moving we use it daily and once it's not once we see that it's pressurable we just throw that away or we just you know um, make it as a juice before it goes away and just serve it to the community Okay. Goes away. Another thing that we do also for community is every Sunday we feed the homeless mm -hmm. and different shelters. We, mm -hmm. That's actually how we started and we also believe that's a way to give back. Any business that starts, for you to expand, you have to have a heart for the community. Thinking about revenue uh, and expenses here, so revenue streams are the juices, the, the vitamins and and herbs that you're selling here and then you also have custom orders if someone has some type of ailment they're dealing with and then you're able to create something custom for them yes I have program individual programs for people based on their elements so if they have diabetes blood pressure issue um, I don't have the license to treat it but I, I I have the knowledge to formulate based on the knowledge of the disease so I can formulate and give as a recommendation I always recommend a disclaimer always go to your doctors first because your doctors will give you the what you need and when you bring that to me I will give you you know a recommendation of what you can take and I also recommend people do not you know not take your medicine because sometimes when we don't take our medicine if you don't know what else to do your issue can get worse so I always recommend take your medication until you understand how to use the formulas and how to change your diet, I always recommend to, you know, let it be a cotton combination of your medication and, you know, your your, your holistic wellness uh, program. You want to be in combination of both until your doctor says it's okay to come off of those medications because sometimes people get onto the program, then they start stop ignoring their treatment and then they, then so you know, they don't know where to go anymore. It's like they're not following the doctor's regimen and they're not following holistic wellness program so it's a combination until you actually you know get off of those medications but that's one of the ways that we uh, create revenues is by creating those programs uh, for different element and also the juices the smoothies it's a daily uh, it's a daily product that sells itself every day because everyone wants to be healthy and that's another revenue and then the herbs also we sell it individually so we measure it up per person based on what they want like some people will come in and say hey i want some maca roots or i want some uh ginseng or i want some spirulina or burdock or bladderwrack whatever it is that they want 
we can measure that for them. That's also a part of revenue. And then we have the vitamins. Some people come for their liquid vitamins, they come for the chlorophyll, they come for multivitamins, they come for essential oils, they come for natural toothpaste, natural toothbrushes. So we are a holistic wellness center that also sell health food products. So it's a combination of actually, I would say four different streams of income in one business. Mm -hmm. oh. And then for expenses, I'm thinking about uh, rent, utilities, uh, taxes, employees, and then um, is there is there anything else I must have possibly left out or yeah, and as of far course, as expense? As far as expenses. Uh, well expense you know, everything is an expense when it comes to running a business to so me. Everything. So everything should be an expense <laughs> because you know, to operate a business, everything you do is for that business. Mm -hmm. You know, especially when you're doing it in the beginning as a you know <laughs> as a small business. I won't say small because any business you start is not small, it's big. But as in your starting point, you want to make sure everything you do is a business. Your transportation is a business. Your, your, I, I even say some of what you use every day is to be you know, taxable or as an expense because, and you could discuss that more with your, you know, your, um, uh, your accountant. Your accountant, you want to discuss that more with them. But that is uh, the expense, especially the, the rent is also something big, your AC, your heat, you want to make sure you have everything written down that you are, you know, paying every month. And I'll always say have it an autom automated, like have it deducted from your account monthly. So that way you don't have to worry about, you know, focus on just promoting and marketing the business. I used to be on a radio station, which is also a very good way to market your business. Mm -hmm. And that's also an expense because you have to pay every week for that. So, gotcha. you know, there's, there's a lot of different expenses. Um, what else can I think of as an expense? Um, basically, you want to have like an exterminator. So every two to three months, you want to do extermination and you just want to keep the place clean. You want to have someone come in and clean your glasses. That's also an expense. Um, you want to make sure that you are buying products that you use daily to clean. That's also an expense. Um, so there's a, there's, there's a lot of expense. I mean, sometimes when we first started, we had someone come in and clean out the whole store. That was an expense. Um, buying the products, sometimes you buy products, they don't, they don't last on the shelf. So because of the shelf life, they expire. That can be an expense because that's the creation of you yeah. know, your, your products. Um, so basically that's it. That would be all I would say that's uh, expenses. And you mentioned, uh, you mentioned cleaning out the juicers. So right. could you talk a little bit about your, your daily routine, your daily process? You know, you come in, uh -huh. what's, uh, what, what's the first thing you, you're thinking about to operate this business? Okay, so once we first come in, you clean. Clean. Right? So before you leave, you clean. When you come back, you clean. Clean, yep. It's very important you clean before you leave because, you know, all of the accumulation of dirt, dust, um, everything, you want to clean that out. Yep. And then when you come in, there's going to be new dust. And also, you are responsible to clean your the front of your business. You have to clean the front of your business. Presentable. No matter how mess they make it, if you don't clean the front of your business, you will get a fine. Okay. You also have to make sure that you clean out the juices right before you leave. Um, even within the day, if it's not busy, you clean it out. You're always going to clean out your your your. Um, your blenders as well. So you want to basically clean out everything as you go. You always want to wipe this down all the time before you, you know, once you make the juice, you wipe it down all the time right away. You also want to do every, like every week, you want to make sure you dust the shelf off and dust the products off because those accumulate dust. So you want to make sure you do that as well. And also the fridge. When an inspector comes and they can see dust in your business, they can give you a fine. If they can see fly in your business, you can get a fine. If they can see um, your your uh, license is not renewed, you can get a fine. Mm -hmm. And if your license is not renewed, you can, the fine is up to a thousand dollars. So uh. <laughs> they, these are like big fines. You want to make sure that you have your mind focused on the business. This is the mistake we made in the beginning. We wanted to do different businesses while we focus on one thing 
you know. So when it even comes to cleaning, whoever you have working with, you let them focus on the tasks every day. Don't do too many things at one time because you, you know it's not gonna work. It's not. It's just not. I know people say, oh, diversify your income. Before you diversify your income, have one income flowing properly. <laughs> then so can you go into the so can go into it, yeah. Yeah, so yes. you can be able and then know exactly the process of taking from that income to build other income or yeah. to multiply. So that and also look how you can use one business that you're doing to multi to have multiple streams of income within one business. Yeah, so what would you say is the hardest part about being a small business owner? Well the hardest part is just sticking to one thing. Mm -hmm. The hardest part is sticking to one thing because as a small business owner we wanna find ways to, you know, find more money we want to find ways we can you know expand but just being patient and just mastering every area of the business you know that's one of the things that you know some people don't get it I've made all the mistakes so you know I, I do consultation as well to help people but the main thing is really just mastering what you're doing you know mastering the act or the, 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 the act of your business like the, the purpose that you are here for that's the mental part. Why am I here? Why am I doing this business? With ease. And one one question they're definitely gonna ask us is, how, how long you said you've been doing this again? You have to re reiterate it. Uh, uh, since 2020. 2020. All yeah, right. So this is the pandemic. This is three years. Three years, and this is a very nice shop. All right. So one of the main questions they're gonna ask us is, what's the annual salary looking like? Okay. The <laughs> That's annual what they're salary. Ask us. Well, when we yeah. first started, we were bringing in about, you can say about twenty thousand dollars a month mm -hmm. we see that this is actually the best time to set up a business like this because a lot of people are learning the truth about alkalinity mm -hmm. they're learning the truth about that the body can reverse itself and heal itself this is not something they knew before mm -hmm. so this creates an opportunity now for people to get in a business like this yeah, a lot of money a lot of money out so yeah, yeah. do you think you have any regrets anything like that if you do it over you would do, do well, anything the different the only thing i would do different is to concentrate on one thing mm -hmm. that was my that was my You're all over yeah. yeah i was trying to do other businesses because i did not see the calling at first one last thing i need you to do is to tell everyone once again your name and what and what makes you different Okay, right. so my name is H.I. Abbasiyama, and a lot of people know me as Larry. I'm a holistic chemist with two, year, uh, two years of study and as my master's as well. I was awarded a two-year uh, degree, and uh, I was awarded a two-year scholarship, which is for urban science education through the National Science Foundation at Long Island University, downtown Brooklyn. So I have my bachelor's in, in chemistry and my master's in urban science education. And basically, um, you can find us at uh, Healthy Way BK, which is on Instagram, and also our website is sheba-gold.com to see some of the products that we have there. And um, basically, you can also find us here. We're located at 241 Rockaway Parkway, which is Brooklyn, New York 11212. So you can find us here, and our you know our phone number is 347-295-2717. If you have any question. You can feel free to call us, to DM us through Instagram, you can call us. Again, that number is 347-295-2717. This is the place you want to be as far as holistic wellness, holistic health. You want to reverse your body, maintain your cells, feel, feed your cells, and remain healthy. This is because your health is the only thing that you have to even have wealth.